Hello, my name is Jakub Wojcik, my ID is 160863 and in this video I will explain the functioning of the switch blueprint. The function of this blueprint is really really simple. What we have in our viewport is a collider box that is going to detect uh, the collision with players. We have a particle system, in this case are my custom fire particle system. And we have a static mesh that is a torch holder. So what we do in this uh, very simple blueprint is uh, just calling an event called on component between overlap that is going to check for a collision uh, inside the trigger box. Now because of how we set the collision itself in the box um, is only going to um, see the collision with the character. As you can see, we use the custom collision, you can check in here, but only the pawn is checked. So only the character is going to activate the box um, and so the event. So whenever the, we could do the same thing by casting to the UD character, but um, these, the box itself was creating problems by colliding with projectiles, etc. So the solution was just uh, creating custom collision here and we do not even need to check for the UD character in the blueprint itself. So going back to the blueprint, what we do is whenever the box um, detects a collision with the character, we set the visibility of our particle system, that is the fire, um, to new visibility, so basically to being true. And whenever that ends, um, and that's the uh, interesting part. Uh, whenever um, the overlap ends, we wait two seconds and then we do the opposite. The reason why we're not just applying a delay at the end of this is that otherwise, if the, if the player is standing under the torch, the moment he activates the particle effect, that particle effect is going to be deactivated after two seconds. Instead, we want to wait until the collision is actually finished, so when the player is actually moved away from the torch, and then we wait two seconds, and we set it to non-visible again. Reason why being um, basically the design of the entire uh, game bit that was um, supposed to be used for tracking purposes, so for example, if you are uh, chasing an enemy and you lose him, um, uh, around the rocket launcher area and you see one fire still lit in the corridor, you know that he went through there. And everything extra that we need to make this work with networking in this case is just going into the class default of our blueprint and check the uh, tick that says replicate. As you can see from the description, um, if this is set to true, the actor will replicate to remote machine, so basically will work with networking. Sometimes networking is as simple as that. So that is everything for the switch uh, blueprint, and uh, thank you for listening.